Today we're going to try and save a little money by making our own bench because really, who needs those big box store corporate cookies anyway? Not this guy. Now Oreos on the other hand, well that's a different story. Let's start off by making a version like the one you see here. I like these, but I wish they were a little heavier, so that's why I'm going with a hockey puck. I started by wiping off the tops and bottoms of each puck with a little acetone. I wanted to make sure I got any dirt or factory residue off of them before placing them in my MacGyver inspired shop oven thing to warm up for a bit. And yes, I have a shop cookie sheet. Doesn't everyone? Once the pucks were warm to the touch, I centered, well, the best I could, and stuck down the gripping material that I purchased off Lee Valley's website. And before I knew it, voila, I had four brand spanking new bench The next bench I wanted to tackle was this blue version that you see here. Now I don't use the accessories like I thought I would with this bench so I'm not going to add a threaded insert to mine. However, I had an idea on a way I could use these with my MFT3 besides the obvious. I found and marked the center on the bottoms of four pucks, took them over to my drill press, and with my 20mm Forstner bit, I drilled the hole about 9 sixteenths of an inch deep. After that was complete, I went over to my MFT3 and threw in a few guide pups, and well, I think you have an idea of what's going on here. I wanted a more semi-permanent solution when using these with my MFT3 without having to secure them from the bottom, so this is what I came up with. And yes, it is a very snug fit all around. When I'm done using these with my MFT3, I simply twist and pull the guide pup out. Now these may not be for everyone, but they work for me. I saved a little money by making them myself, plus it was a fun shop project. And on that note, I'm going to call this video done. If you haven't already, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions or comments about this video, please feel free to leave those below and I will address them when I can. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, take care and have a good one.